Alright, here we are with new season. I am going to play some Titan, because Titan is fun. I've basically just taken Great Boy's deck, because he was ranked 1 last season. He had Gren instead of Titan. I put Titan in instead of Gren. Uh, which obviously is going to make the deck weaker in the early game, but it's going to allow me to play Titan. So, swings and roundabouts, you know. Deck is worse, but on the plus side we have Titan. So, you know, that seems pretty good. Am I double killing? Yeah, sure. Let's do it. <laughs> I actually don't... Like, I play what? Inferno? And then I have to just assume my opponent lines up two units? I could try. I don't think I'd actually get many double kills out of it. It basically just comes down to does my opponent put two units in a line? I can't. Like, it's not something I have any control over. I can't engineer it. My strong arm, because strong arm is good. Strong arm's good commander. That's why it's great boy, why strong arm? It's his deck. Why strong arm, great boy? Is it so we can do this? How you doing? How you doing? Is that the reason for strong arm? I could attempt to get some double kills with the Titan, nice. That could happen. Yeah, all right, I'll, I'll try and get some double kills with the Titan. Strong arm is the best GDI commander. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Honestly, not an unreasonable take. Ah, awkward. A tick tank. My deck does not seem very good against tick tank. My deck, in fact, seems quite poor against tick tank. Unit lost. Unit lost. Unit ready. Unit lost. Blast the pistol. Ready to race. Alright. Not sure. Even if we make it to the Titan, the Titan's not that great against Tick Tank either. So I'm a little concerned about this. It would be cool if Tick Tank couldn't just obliterate missiles. <laughs> Like, he has Buggy and Tick Tank, and both of those just dump on missiles, which is kind of insane. We're just going to keep spamming missiles, just keep the missile stalled for as long as possible. Oh, now he's making missiles. Interesting. i use this strong arm turret to buy myself some time. Oh, get the block. Nope, can't get the block. Welcome to PC gaming. I'm gonna have to suicide this pit bull a little bit to buy time. Can't fight the tick tank, unfortunately. That's gonna be a problem. What do I have in my air tower? I have Razorback? I guess I could make a Razorback and just try and put it above the pad for long enough. That might work. Is it gonna be fast enough? It is fast enough. Let's buy some time. Let's go. It's all about buying those precious seconds to get the Titan out. Always oh, moving the tick tank, spicy. Oh! <laughs> Amazing. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. You love to see it, chat. You absolutely love to see it. This is... He just lost the missile! Oh my god. Bro. I actually just lost the missile doing that. Insane. What a time to be alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you're going to try and date miss on my Titan, bro. I can see it. At the mate. Hmm. Yikes. <laughs> oh, there it is. Alright, Titan is half dead. Didn't lose my half. Probably a good thing, I don't know. Can like can Titan even come close to beating a tick tank? Or is this gonna get absolutely dumped on? Uh it got completely dumped on. It was damaged from the Jade missile as well, so you know. Fair enough, I guess. But it did do very poorly. Keep making missile troops, man. Missile troops is where it's at. Double 
shit. It's aggressive. Alright, fair cop, fair cop. I could probably get his harvester now with this Titan if I want to. Yeah, I kind of got a double kill. I killed some of my missiles at the same time as uh, his buggy. Alright, GG! Titan is unstoppable. Let's see if I can kill his harvester. Yeah, Titan is infamously unstoppable. Let's go. What is up, Octacron? It's actually Octacoron, right? Octa... It's like Octa... Octacoron? Oh my god. Guy needs to chill the fuck out. Wow. Laser drone opening. What is happening? Inconceivable. Looking a bit weak, aren't you? That's quite an expensive opening, right? That's a 70 cost opening. Because he went air tower laser drone and he did it before harvester. So that's the same as opening a bar buggy or a rhino. Which means it slows down your harvester build. I don't even know if I want to preserve this almost dead pit bull, to be honest. I guess I can use it to harass the harvester a little. Oh, it does defy all logic, you're right. All logic has been defied. This guy's literally just bought himself some JD emotes and he's excited about it. <laughs> uh, well, GG, Boosie. Did you remember to put any other units in your deck, or is it just laser drone? Oh, Inferno, nice. What do I have for Inferno? Just missile, missile pitbull as usual. Sure. Probably, probably enough. Inferno is pretty bad now. Did I think it, it definitely got over nerfed? Like it was. I can see why it got nerfed. It was pretty strong, but. It's kind of bad now. I definitely didn't need the level of nerfing that it got. Wow, he has Venom in his deck and this is the first time he makes it? That's insane. Well, that was a, that was a close one. But he, the guy got to enjoy using his emotes, which is nice. There's no point having emotes if you don't enjoy using them. Alright, cool. I have 350 Tiberium at the end of that game. Objective complete. Speaking of laser drone opening, isn't this the guy who doesn't have an out to miss our troop? Or am I, am I getting him mixed up with someone else? Isn't this the guy who like opens drone swarm and has nothing but drone swarm to fight missiles? It is the guy that opens drone swarm and has nothing but drone swarm to fight missiles. He changed his deck? Oh no! Outrageous. What does he have now for fighting missiles? What did he change his deck to? Hey, well, the drone swarms didn't do terribly. Unit lost. Ah, oh, we solved the puzzle. Bring a pit bull as well. What does this guy do against slingshot decks? Does it just lose? I respect a man who just chooses to lose to certain things, you know? He's like, ah, oh, you have sling? GG, well played. It was tactical genius, you're right. Thank you. Thank you for noticing my tactical genius. Right, 
If I'd open just Rhino like normal, wouldn't this guy be in a lot of trouble as well? You just spam Rhinos from the start. Probably can't beat that. <laughs> nice deck, my guy. Nice deck. Yeah, what a sad time to be General Dot Overlord. The naughty switch laser drone for mutant. Amazing. Three, two, one. New objective received. Like the, that was that was. <laughs> I mean, you're like you're literally. <laughs> Building online. I lied. Well, I mean, you're, you're coming into a chat where I'm playing Rivals and asking me if Rivals is dead, right? So you can look at the game I'm playing and see that it is not dead. I'm literally playing the game as we speak, so it can't be dead. So, <laughs> so I think to ask the question, is Rivals dead, of someone who is currently playing Rivals, that's... Like, I couldn't really... I couldn't help myself. <laughs> like, I had, I had to... I had to... I had to... Mo I had to make some fun of you. I apologize though, it was perhaps mean. This is like not a great. I mean, this is a situation where you'd use Grens normally in this deck. Like, this is why the deck has Grens. Like, a situation like this is exactly when you'd need your Grens. I think I'm okay. I don't think you can clear both these units up top, yeah. Uh, we're not very close to Titan, but that's okay. We can just raise a back missile. Now we've won a missile, we have a long time to, to get to Titan. I think he wants to push my Harvester because he's a Rivals player. It's just a sickness. Actually, just a sickness among Rivals players. He's about to lose the game. I wonder if he knows. Does he know? He should know. He should be aware. Oh, no. Missed it. I think I still win. Mm, no, looking close now. Absolutely, absolutely through this one, boys. Oh no, I still won. <laughs> but he did attack my harvester a little bit, which is the important thing. Mission accomplished. Three, two, one. I also wonder where Huck went. Chem frog angles. That is an excellent question that I have been thinking for the last couple of months. Basically, ever since Grape has just been cruising to rank one every season, I was like, where the fuck's Huck? He just like, hasn't played in a few months. Now, in my experience, opening Rhino against Barracks is just like a total free roll for the missile. Ah, oh, he's going straight air tower. I think this is maybe one of the best things you can do against a Rhino opening, is to go for an Orca as quickly as possible. I want to try out mass Rhinos and see if it's just too many. Because in my experience of playing the Orca side of things, you basically, like, you get an Orca out and there's just, yeah, there's like so many units on the field, right? Like he has four things he has to clear with Orca. So yeah, you have an Orca and it's really good against my Rhinos, but <laughs> you can only kill one Rhino, bro. This has been my experience as well of playing the Orca. This is also something you were talking about, Engels, in the chat, and someone Pope said the same thing. Pope's was like, there's just too much to kill with one Orca first missile, so you always lose. And you were like, are you kidding? Um, orca shits on Rhino. But here you see exactly what he's talking about. If you open Barracks, by the time you have an Orca, there's three Rhinos on the field. You just can't possibly kill three Rhinos before the missile fires. So it is just a free missile for Rhino opening against Barracks into Orca. Hmm, MLRS. Uh, I guess we're going Razorback and spamming missiles. I don't know why I made the Razorback first. <laughs> Probably should have made the missiles first, but there you go. Too late now. And a sling as well, or a nightmare. Yes, Commander. 
The deck looks very weak here against Sling MLRS. Well, he isn't really using the MLRS, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, bro, way too slow. Uh, obviously, I would have had to use Titan to carry me there in the late game. Once I get to Titan, it's still not clear I win because there's Orcas. Titan goes down pretty easily against Orca. Rato Saga. I no longer like this guy very much. <laughs> I used to have some respect for him, but he just shows me no respect ever, so I'm kind of off it. Building online. Unit ready. Yes, tank is full. The thing is, if you go second Rhino and they go War Factory, the second Rhino is not great. If they go Orca, then it's good to have multiple Rhinos like we showed in the last game. But if they go War Factory, you don't really want multiple Rhinos on the field. Depends what they make. Like, yeah, like a Pitbull's fine, because then the Rhino can just act like an APC and it absorbs damage, hits the, rhino, hits the Pitbull a bit, and tanks while you bring in your own Pitbull. That's fine. If it's tank, that's when you get into real trouble. If you have multiple Rhinos out and your opponent makes a tank, oh my god. That's that's when you're in bad shape and you just get absolutely wrecked. Defense online. Alright, cool. Nice first missile there. There's the tank. Should have made that earlier. That would have been a beating. I don't think I could have beaten the tank earlier. So now we'll transition into missile Razorback. He's gonna go for my harvester because he's a rival player. Looks like it. Oh, maybe not. No, no, no he is, yeah. <laughs> it's actually just ridiculous. It's actually just insane. Who can blame him? We all know that if he gets it, the game instantly ends in his favor. Building online. Unit lost. Unit lost. Pretty close to my Titan now. How good is the Titan going to be if we get there? It's pretty good. Like he's mostly using predators. Problem is, I have to make this razor back. It's quite expensive. It's another situation where the Grens would really come in handy. Actually, the Titan's going to be useless because he's playing Solomon. He just used his Solomon. I don't know if we have time to get to the Titan, honestly. Oh, shit. That's not good. Yeah, I don't think we ever make it to the Titan, sadly. I think we're just dead. Yeah, it looks like we're just dead. Oh well, there's another matchup where the Grens would have been helpful. Mission failed. This deck could do with an Orca, that would be good. Although really what this deck could do with is not a Titan. Any any unit in the game other than Titan is what this deck could do with really. But then we wouldn't be playing Titan. So it is of course the ups and the downs. Unit lost. 
I think we're gonna kill the shot in time. Oh, we killed the drone swarm in time. Let's go. Should be able to kill the thing on top in time. This drone swarm is annoying. Although, why is he sending it down? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I don't know why he was sending it downwards instead of up. Put a turret here to block, and then we should be able to get bottom pad as well. Alright, and that should be GG. Well, sadly, no titans were made in this game. Just killing. I wonder what it is he's just killing. Spoiler alert, if I lose the game, someone in chat will say it was me. And I think they're fucking hilarious for saying it. <laughs> Building online. Awaiting orders. Reporting. Rifleman ready. Unit ready. Rifleman awaiting orders. Leaving the chat. I'm off the unit reveals at the right. Yes, sir. Is this Rhino going to beat this Banshee? It's kind of... I think no. Looks like it is going to win. It was already pretty damaged. Mm, actually, it looked like maybe it was going to lose just... It was pretty damaged though. I kind of expected to lose more. Rhino OP, my dudes. I wonder if I'm supposed to go double harvest to get the Titans. The problem is my anti-air isn't good enough. Like, if I go double harvester and then I'm constrained on anti-air... Because I've like I have pop cap constraints, right? That's an issue. Like I only have so much pop cap. If I have to make missiles and pit bulls to fight things like orcas with low pop cap, then that's not a winning combination. Yeah, like he has an inferno. If I'm trying to beat infernos with pit bulls and missiles whilst they're shooting my titans, that's just not gonna work out. Like with a pop cap disadvantage, that's not a good plan. This is unfortunately the issue that one often has with the uh, what are they called? Ah oh, shit, didn't mean to lose that guy. Uh, with the tech units, is that once you make it, like by the time you make a tech unit it's often not a relevant unit anymore. Like, you've even, like the game has already ended by the time you can make a tech unit quite a lot of the time. He just got a double kill. There you go, Ice. There's a bit of a there's double kill for your double kill challenge. If I'd sent this Razor back across earlier, I would have won this missile. Like, I threw that missile there. Because they only had a rifleman over here, so I could have easily sent my Razor back over. I would have won that missile. But yeah, I can, like, by getting, by getting to third missile, like, quite late into third missile as well, I'll be able to just about afford a Titan. At which point he has Banshees and Infernos that can kill it, so... Kind of not very good. I should make Rhino instead of Pitbull here. Oh my god, so many mistakes. I think I can win just by Titan tanking. Yeah, I win with just Titan tanks the pad. 
The actual like attack of the Titan was basically irrelevant in that one. Mission accomplished. Three, two, one. New objective available. Found town. I don't even know if I guess Rhino opening is probably the best. The Rhino opening has won me first miss a lot of times. The problem is the deck is slightly too expensive to make it to the Titan. Oh shit, he's Rhino opening as well. Uh oh, that's actually bad for us. Oh, what? 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 Hello? <laughs> it's a Rhino Pitbull rush. What a time to be alive, chat. I should definitely stall as well. He's invested quite a lot into this rush, so if he doesn't get the harvester, it's pretty bad for him. This third Pitbull is probably a mistake, because he's probably going to transition into missile if he can afford it. Hey, what do you know? Some missile troopers. Think we're okay? Yeah, okay, he doesn't even have a harvester, it's over. GG. He is no half trying to rush me, didn't get the harvester, and didn't get the first missile. This is about as bad as it can possibly be for no half. Yeah. Sadly, we're still not going to make it to Titan. Impossible to get to Titan. Enemy base destroyed. Three, two, one. New objective received. Town Town again. He's not going to try and no half again, is he? Building online. Unit ready. Maybe he's just like playing no half this season or something, or like to get to tier. People people do crazy things. All right, well, unlucky, my guy. It looks like he was trying to pitbull rush me again. This is a very bad map to rush on. This is one of the worst rushing maps in the game. It is just a pitbull, though. I don't see... Not really a rush. Just a pitbull. Building online. I think maybe he went Pitbull Pitbull opening because last time I opened War Factory. And this time I opened Missile, so that's gone real bad for him. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what happened here. That is an unfortunate situation for Pound Town. Online. Yeah, unlucky, my guy. That is rough. Uh, there you go, 10 games. Only lost one, which was the one against Stratosaga. Um, which, to be honest, we would have won if we just didn't have the, the Titan. Like, if we have Grens, I think we're fine. But yeah, pretty good overall. Um, would have been nice to get more Titans out. I think I made like three Titans the whole time, and I think none of them were relevant. I think they all sucked. I think every Titan I made was bad, but such is the nature of the tech unit. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the Titans, and I'll see you next time.